this video you're going to learn about how to create a single product page when you click on any of these products so let's learn that so the first thing we're going to do is uh, just add a home link to this to next okay so we'll just go to nav and we'll just import link component from next link okay and then we have this link over here I'm going to get rid of this span tag and just copy this and then use the link component opening and closing tag and just paste this inside of this the only difference is that we do have the a tag but we need to mention the href href here in the link so this goes to the root URL so let's keep it that way the reason why we are doing this is because when we go to a single page then we should have a navigation option here uh, for the user to navigate to the home page okay so we've done that great next thing we need to do is basically create a product page and before even we did that let's create a link over here for the user to click and go on to the single product page okay so we have this going on inside of the index.js so I'll just go over there okay and then you can see that the product data that you see right here is coming from the product component so let's go into that okay now of course we don't want a view button over here the reason for this is because we can have add to cart button over here instead of view if the user clicks on the image itself then he should be able to go on to the single product page so let's get rid of this view button we don't need that and we can wrap the image inside of the a tag okay and of course since we are creating a link we need to import link on the top link from next link.js okay and then we'll just take the link component opening and closing tag and just paste our image inside of it of course we need the a tag as well so let's get rid of href and just put image right here like this okay so this needs to go onto the single product page so how do we decide where it needs to go to so generally we can have a product slug where the user can go on to okay so I'm gonna go ahead and say href slash product because let's create a, a product page where the user will be landing when he clicks on the single product page so inside of the pages as we know that the name of the file will become the route itself so if I create product.js here in pages directory then the this particular page will be available at slash product and that's what we want okay so we'll say product right here okay now of course if he goes on to this product page he should be able to get the data for that particular product which on which he clicked on to so by just going on to the product page that wouldn't solve the purpose we need some kind of specific data which is related to this product so let's say we have slug so I can pass this in query parameters so I can say slug is equal to and then inside of the product we have the slug available so we can use that and since we want to use the dollar sign we'll have to use backtick as per ES6 like this and then let me console this to you let me console log this and show that to you so let me just get rid of this for now so console log product okay okay let's just comment this out first okay it's going to refresh now so you can see in the inside of the product we have got all of the data available so we have the slug available and that's what we were looking for right so we have the slug we have the product ID so we do need the product ID as well uh, in order for us to fetch the data that's related to that specific product so let's go back okay and inside of the slug we can mention remember we have it in product uh, slug so product product dot slug 
okay and then we can say dash we also need the product ID to fetch the data so we can say dash and then we can say product dot product ID okay brilliant so we have this HRF right here all right and we have this image as well clickable great now we don't have the error awesome so since we have got the link available if I do an inspect element you can see we have slash product we have the slug and then we also have the product ID so all we have to do is just create this product page and fetch the data related to this particular product okay so if I click on it you can see it goes on to that particular URL okay awesome now you can see that it goes to slash product and then slug and then this URL uh, just ignore this part right now because we don't have anything inside of the product page this is why you get this error we'll fix it in a moment by adding content over here but I want you to focus on this one this part right here now the question mark doesn't look good it's not a clean URL if you had to give it to someone it doesn't look good so how how can we fix that well ideally it should be just the product name I shouldn't have this word slug over here it should be just product slash and then the product name like you see in WordPress as well that they use slug in order for us to get the data out of this URL uh, we can do that by query params but we don't want to show that to the user so there's clean URL in Next.js I do have a video tutorial on this as well you can check my Next.js playlist but uh, if you want a quick uh, reference to this you can go to Next.js org learn the basics regarding the uh, clean URL with the dynamic routing so here it explains that you can still have the HRF as the way you want but as what you want to show to the user okay so if you just add the as attribute in your link okay here the actual URL will be this but to user it will be showing whatever you put over here so let's say I'm just going to copy this URL and then I'll make some changes inside of it so let's say I want to show this to the user as just slash product slug and then the ID I don't want to show the question mark and equal equal to sign as query parameters so I can just use this so we got that going now doing this is not enough because you have told on the client side that this is the URL that's going to be but on the server side server doesn't know about it right so how do we fix that so let's have a look we go to our now.json file and we can add the routing over here if you were dealing with server.js file and if you were creating your APIs over there and handling your server component on your own then you had to do this uh, into server.js using express but since we are using now right now we can just directly do this here so we can add routes so if you go to the deployment configuration now.js json and if you look for route you can see that you can configure the routes over here like this so I'm just going to copy this and I don't, I don't need all of this so I'll just get rid of all of it okay we need to define the routes so what do we want to do first thing it takes is source you can see it takes source source over here okay so it's going to look for the source first okay so our source is going to be what the user sees which is slash product slash and remember we have the slug basically slash slug that's what the user sees so we can say slash and then we can use regex so if it finds the slug over here okay and then cat sign slash and then this and plus and then dollar sign okay so if it finds any slug or the ID okay any numbers basically right here then go ahead and direct the user to the actual URL which is product so remember the actual URL that we have available is this slash product 
then you have slug so let's just copy this from here and paste it slug and then you have the actual slug so I can just do slug over here okay so it's going to redirect the user to this particular slug whatever the slug is so in our case it'll be the slug dash the ID okay so that's how you tell uh, now that this whenever there is a request on this URL then dir direct the user to this URL of course the user will not be able to see it but eventually that's what's going to happen behind the scenes okay awesome you can even create more routes and just send the user to any pages that you want so for example if you create another route over here like this and you just say that if anybody lands on the index page send him to like google.com or something so you can do that as well okay so let's not do that we don't need to worry about it now but you can define more routes as you can see that you can define as many routes as you want you can get more information about this over here great awesome so we've got that going there now the next thing we need to do is basically create our product.js and add content into it 